everyone. For those out there watching, I hope you are having a great day today. And I hope to continue that great day of yours by going over a geometry proof here. And I know there's different ways that geometry proofs are organized in class. Some, some classrooms do the two column proofs and some do more of a flow chart of ideas. So I do understand that there's different ways to go about the structure of a proof. And I think I'm going to go through the flow chart method on this one, just to kind of talk through my ideas of how I would complete this proof. So the first thing I'm going to, do, going to do is look at the givens. And for the first given, I see that segment AD bisects segment BE. Let's think about how we would mark that in the diagram. So segment AD comes through and bisects BE. So it's BE that's being bisected, which means it splits BE into two congruent segments. So the fact that AD bisects BE, which is a given, tells us that segment BC will be congruent to segment EC. And that's just the definition of a segment bisector. Now for my other given, angle B is congruent to angle E. And that's also a given. Let's go ahead and mark that in the diagram, that angle B is congruent to angle E. All right, and it looks like that is all I know. So if I need to prove that two sides are congruent, it looks like I'm going to first have to prove two triangles are congruent, and you then use our good old CPCTC. So in order to prove that these two triangles are congruent, I need one more set of angles, and I think it's going to be these two angles here. And those two are congruent because they are vertical angles, and vertical angles are congruent. All right, taking a look at what we have here, it looks like we have a pair of sides, a pair of angles, and another pair of angles. And that's gonna help us with how to prove triangles are congruent. Now there are four ways to prove two triangles are congruent. We can prove two triangles are congruent by side, 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 angle, side, angle, angle, side, or angle, side, angle. And if I just went in the order of my flow chart, it looks like I have angle, angle, side, but we really need to look at our picture to see in what order they come in. So it looks like I have an angle and then a side and then an angle, and that side is included between those two angles. So because that side is between the two angles that I have are congruent, I know that this these triangles are going to be congruent because of angle, side, angle. So I'm gonna bring these together and say, all right, because of this, I know that triangle BCA is congruent to triangle ECD. Oops, I forgot to put the triangle symbol in there. Let me head back and do that. And the order that I list out those vertices, they have to be in corresponding order. So if I went BCA, I then have to list it out correspondingly triangle ECD. And I know those triangles are congruent because of angle, side, angle. All right, now that I know these two triangles are congruent, each of their corresponding angles and sides are also congruent, and that is called CPCTC. And let me write out again what that stands for. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So because I already proved the triangles are congruent and if you want to use CPCTC, you have to first prove two triangles are congruent, then I can conclude side AC must be congruent to side DC 
All right, let's go ahead and mark those because of corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And that completes our proof. I hope this video was helpful to go through a geometric proof that uses CPCTC. If you found this video to be of value, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe so that you're notified of weekly math videos. Continue having a great day, everyone. See you in the next video.